Right. So from from a from a cloud standpoint, you know, for a lot of companies that may have you know a cloud strategy developed already, or even there's a lot of enterprises that are looking at this for the first time and you know pulling together their own teams in terms of how they're going to build out a cloud centric model. Um, and it's really it is very important to have a company like Akamai in mind when you're developing out that that architecture, because a company like Akamai can help with you know different levels and different layers of that whole offering. So, from a performance standpoint, you know ensuring that the the data itself is you know performs at scale with a high quality of service. You know so especially if you're looking to um, to deploy it to end users that are very regional or that are very global. That that's where a global network like Akamai's can really be of value. Uh, secondly, is around availability. So, from from an availability standpoint, you know it does happen uh, where you know there are concerns about availability in operating in a lot of these uh, different various cloud environments. And what Akamai can do is, if you're running an infrastructure as a service environment, if you're running a platform as a service, your own private cloud, your own hosting environment, we're able to, because we sit between the end user and that environment, we're able to detect if that location is down or if that location is unroutable on the public internet. We can detect that in real time and, and uh, be able to fail over to a secondary location to ensure that every single request from every single end user um, is responded to as long as there's you know an infrastructure or as an origin that's up and running. So from an availability standpoint, the balancing across the different clouds um, is something that a company like Akamai can provide. A third one is around security. So from a security standpoint, um, a lot of companies have concerns about utilizing public cloud, utilizing, you know, once that data is off of their environment, how are they going to protect it? And Akamai, sitting between that environment, can now offer, you know, that layer of security, right, and offer those capabilities to ensure that, um, that the different types of attacks that you might see, uh, application layer types of attacks, uh, can be blocked and blocked even before it gets into that environment. Um, so there's a lot of, of areas that a company like Akamai can uh, be, be part of, you know, in terms of that, that architecture and that strategy. So it's really important, especially as you're building it out, talking to a company like Akamai, making sure that spend and that investment that you're making into the cloud deployment is, is optimized as much as possible. Right, so from a big data standpoint, a company like Akamai can provide tremendous value when thinking about the three Vs when it comes to uh, big data. Right, so the volume of information, uh, the variety of that information, and then the velocity of the information. So from a volume standpoint, clearly all of the data that's traversing through um, say an Akamai platform or delivery network like Akamai's, uh, we're able to package up that information in a smart way and deliver it back to your infrastructure so that you can analyze that data um, in, in a fast way. So real-time uh, capabilities, providing that data into your infrastructure um, so that you can make smart decisions you know, based on the information. And there's various ways that that can be employed. It can be employed from performance monitoring standpoint. It can be employed from a security standpoint. I mean, there's many different uh, elements to it as well. But really, from a big data standpoint, a company like Akamai can be the supplier of that data and also optimize the delivery of that data so that it's in a format that's very easy for your systems to take in and then analyze as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Thank you.